Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out the riff for Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It is a banging tune and perfect for the lesson today. It's got the single note lines, it's got the F chord, it's got the F chord bar chord shape, but you need to use the arch in your first finger even better, which is, I mean, it's just, it delivers on every level for this song. So let's get to a close up and check out how to play it. the main riff it's actually pretty simple when you uh, take the bass part away the bass part weaves in beautifully but we're going to start off with this a minor chord the regular old a minor that you play you might sometimes see me play it without the third finger but i would recommend that you put the third finger down as well okay that's the way nitsudge is practicing it then you're going to pick out individually the fifth string the fourth string then you're going to lift off first finger play the second string and then put first finger back down and play it again. Okay, have a go at that first of all. Make sure you can do that before you even think about doing the next part. It's by far the easiest bit. And now the next section, you need first finger on the first fret of the thicker string, third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, which for many of you is already going to be a bit of a tussle, but that's okay. You're going to play the thicker string, the fifth string, then the open third string. So what you're going to find with the bar, if you've let the bar down too far, it'll mute the third string. So you actually, it's forcing you to learn to kind of round that bar. Like I said, when you're playing your F chord, you, it's going to be round anyway because we don't play those middle strings. It's forcing you to, a little bit more extreme just to lift up the the bar away from the fretboard just that little bit to get the open G string and then second finger is going to go down on the second fret of the third string so it's going to play the open string and then the second finger goes down that's the hard part of that this part relatively easy that is quite difficult it's difficult to pick the notes out individually and accurately, but for me, getting the first finger and the third finger in the right spot and holding the notes down, and then getting that open G string, for, you know, Nitsudge is getting all the time, muting it, it's just going to lift it up that little bit more, and then controlling the second finger while those two, first and third, stay still to get third finger the second finger down on the right place it's not easy it's not easy at all but it is lots of fun and there's so much benefit to doing this the picking the notes out individually the getting the th first and third finger there ready for your f chord the bar chord f and your second finger and the rounding of the thumb and the controlling of the the bar the height of the bar it's just got so much good stuff going on. Now if you want to practice the rest of the song, it's chords that you know pretty much anyway. Some of the rhythms on the original recording are a little bit more complicated. It might be worth practicing the chords occasionally just as a bit of a rest if you're doing the, practicing this for four minutes as scheduled, just to do this for four minutes can feel a little boring. So there's another part, a chord part in the verses, which is C for two strums, to G, to F, to D minor, and then back to the roof. The sequence again is C, if you want these G. It 
It really is a fantastic riff, this one. If you're a huge Chili Peppers fan, there's no danger of going to check out the more detailed lesson over on the website. I don't recommend trying to do the little... Um, it involves a whole heap of things. The twiddles are really difficult, playing two notes at once, and it is really a combination of the guitar part and the bass part. It isn't easy. It's relatively easy for me right-handed, but left-handed, every time I've tried it, it's been like beyond difficult. So I would recommend not trying to do that one for now, but I really hope you enjoy playing this all-time classic riff. <laughs> 